Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Empires of Steel, episode 2. And last time we left off, we had a little bit of a food crisis going on. Uh, we got just enough food to do another turn, but hopefully that's enough. Um, we're definitely having some issues finding food. We did disband that unit, so that saved us kind of one unit of food there. But with the two cities, we're still really kind of hurting. So I don't think I'm going to capture any more cities because I don't believe cities actually improve food at all, actually. I think they eat food. Eat it right up. Can we actually take a look and see where we're losing food? We can. So, at 0 to 10 critical, city populations decline due to starvation. Yikes. Production rates decrease. Yeah, I just noticed that the the, the production the production is actually declining. Uh, city population growth is slow. Production rates decreases. Excess city populations grow faster. Availability, critical effects, population growth, minus 46% production rate, total one per turn. What is... New York, they're only eating three and 1.2 soft units, aircraft units. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let's cut some units out. So we've got one Zeppelin heading out. We've got another Zeppelin in here. We're going to disband this Zeppelin, so we do not want that anymore. I'm going to disband this artillery because we've got to get this food itch, uh, issue sorted out. I do need the infantry guys to actually be able to capture uh, my food. I think everything right there is going to be good. How are we doing right now? See, the transport's going to take 13 turns now because production's so low. Let's uh, let's see if we can buy some more food. How is the other players doing? 100, 10, and 20. They want iron, so we could actually sell iron to them for 1.1, and he still just wants food. So let's uh, let's sell to them. Let's sell iron. A lump sum. Let's do th lump sum of sum of 30 and okay. And they will accept it. Obviously, though, we want... Let's see if we can get... Can we get food from them, maybe? Or how's this work? Or we can take money, I guess. Will they do... Let's see. They want, they're want. they saying 1.4. Well, why don't we see if we can get 60 from them? 60. They are willing to do that. Let's, let's, uh, let's push our luck here. You're getting closer closer to an acceptable trade offer so they don't want to do that I thought they were willing to do 60 you're you're getting closer to an acceptable trade offer I think we're getting close to a mutually beneficial trade okay how about this 40. Really? But you do 30. Alright, let's do that trade then. That actually takes a turn to process. I'm going to buy a little bit of food off the market to buy me, uh, get me through this turn here. Uh, since I, ha I do have uh, enough money to do that, let's get, uh, let's do 20 for 60. And submit our turn. There we go. So we've food's gone down a little bit. We're sitting at plus nine for cash still. And uh, we sold off. Did we sell off? Yes, trade was completed. So we did sell that off and earn some money from that. Uh, there are we our research. Oh, that's right. We are actually we actually do have research going on. Let's let's mess with that a little bit. I forgot that we raised this. Let's actually lower it so we can keep making more cash to buy food uh, since I'm not too worried about research right now. Uh, that won't be too much of an issue till the food situation solved. Keep sending this guy down here to look for more food. And the transport is going to be made in eight turns now. Let's grab this. And I don't really need the Zeppelin anymore, I don't think. But let's just scout around for a little bit more food. Because if there is a closer source up here, then I'd like to swing in there and grab it. But we are about to run out of oil, which is going to be a problem as well. Uh, there's a source of oil right there, so... Uh, that isn't too bad, actually. Let's disband this artillery piece. Uh, since we are still trying to deal with the food shortage we've got going on here. Uh, but we are making a lot of cash, so that's very good. Alright, let's mess with this some more. None of them want to sell anything, but they all want to buy food, which shows me that the whole map probably has a, a shortage of food. He wants to buy more steel. Luckily, that's the one thing I do have. That's actually not steel, it's iron. Whatever. Sa same difference. So he wants to buy more of that. Iron makes steel, technically. Okay. By technically, I mean it does. 40 iron. 
And obviously he's willing to just do a flat out trade, but we're definitely not going to do that. We want some money. Let's go for, is he going to give me 80? He's close. He only wants me to minus it by about 15. He'll accept 40 for 59. Let's do that. And then obviously I still have to buy some of this anyways. So food, we'll do 20 again for 60. Yikes, okay. That'll get us through this turn, but that'll go back up. Did the trade not go through? Why did I not get my money? I just noticed that. I don't think I got it last time then either. Declined. Completed. Declined. Oh, they declined both of my trades. Offer was declined. Really? So I actually didn't even get the money for that. Um, I could sell my steel on the open market. Just sell it right here blatantly. Sell to open market. But then I'm only going to generally get like a one-to-one -one ratio instead of what I could get from the other players. They said they were going to accept it. Why did they not? Probably because we don't have a very good relation. Oh, somebody must have already sold to hit Canada because they don't want it anymore. They don't want steel anymore. Well, I could sell it to the open market for more food. That's always a possibility. Oh, there's more steel right there. And I was correct about us being on some type of little peninsula here, it looks like. So he's going to capture that steel. So I guess that's going to keep us afloat because I could keep selling the steel for more food necessarily. Uh, but it's definitely not going to do us any good for our military because as you can see, I had to pretty much disband our entire military uh, just to get the food cost a little bit down. Uh, how close is that transport to being done? 13 turns, so we're still definitely hurting on that. I don't think I can capture these with the air vehicles, but I'm actually going to try just to see what happens, as I've never actually messed with that before. Um, we do have enough food to at least get us through this next turn. Oil, I'm not too worried about. I believe shortage only... Oh, it does actually ruin our production rate. So I, I'm going to send that transport off, I think, and then... After that, I'm probably going to disband it. What if I wanted to buy 20 oil? Oy, yikes. Okay, too expensive. That's fine. Let's sell some iron. I am producing a good amount, so why don't we sell 30? Let's do that. It gives me some cash, which I'll need. Okay, he couldn't capture that. I figured it was only ships that could capture that, but I just wanted to check and make sure. Let's keep marching down this way with this infantry guy here. See if we can't bump into something else. And then I want you to disband. That'll save me a little bit of oil. And I actually need to buy some if I want to keep my production up. Boy, oil is really expensive right now. You know what we could probably do? We could probably do a steal for oil trade with somebody. Let's see. He wants oil. He wants food. Let's add uh, oil. No, he wants oil. So I want to buy oil. So he wants food. They both want food. So he probably is not going to trade me oil for cash. But, yeah, that's going to be the case. All right. How's production looking here? That's the only problem I think I have with this game, if there was any problem with it. Uh, every game I've played has actually been like this, where I'm really trying to micro my resources because I either can't get the resources that are out here because it requires a ship that I just didn't start with. Like, this is going to take 37 per turns to produce now. We're never going get to this, get this ship out at this point. And maybe that's just because I didn't do a lot more gathering of resources, but I just feel like... The game is just relying way too much on my ability to be able to capture these resources. They're too far and wide. I can't seem to get to them. And uh, units and everything just eat up way more resources than you actually income. And even if I do capture this food supply, it's actually technically still not even going to fix uh, my issue because it's only a food supply of six. So I've noticed that that is kind of an issue that I seem to have with every game. But we're going to keep playing along and see if we can't fix it. Uh, because I've got this about to get disbanded. And let's, I do need to still buy food. Oh, I don't want to sell. I want to buy. Here, come on. 60, yikes. It's gotten really expensive. Okay, let's just submit our order then. Wait for our cash to tick up here. My steel should also be climbing pretty quickly. Okay, so he's heading towards a city. We've got a border here of another, uh, what appears to be another race. Food is, of course, about to drop down. I've only got 62 cash, but I could sell. 
Um, I'm not using any of the iron at all, so let's just get crazy up in here and sell 80 of it. And buy myself 40 food for 120. That's still not going to fully do it, but let's do it anyways just to get the food situation under control for a second. More cities down here, but that is definitely the last thing I need is any more cities. Uh, I wish that I could buy units flat out with like cash or something. That would actually fix the issue that I'm having. I wonder if I can... I wonder if I could trade with the other teams here. Something else to figure something out. food their other teams are hurting as well oh he seems to have not be hurting for food anymore he wants to sell oil and iron for 2.5 he wants to buy it and obviously me here okay oh i'm gonna run out of oil and i definitely don't have the ability to buy really any oh that's sell Oh, I can buy one turn or two turns worth of oil. More gold. I guess that'll help a little bit. But I'm still not going to get this transport out. Might have to. I wonder if you can. As crazy as it sounds, I wonder if I can give up that city. Oh, it looks like. Okay, it does look like it does connect right here. Okay, I'm going to be out of oil, so we're just going to have to ugh, we're going to have to let oil run out. I don't see any other way I could possibly mitigate that. Um, I've only got two infantry units right now. I could send the other one down there to help explore. It's probably not a bad idea, but at this rate, it's almost looking like um hide that for the next 5 turns. We're just going to let oil run out completely while I attempt to find more steel, okay? Alright, how's this going? We've got that completely down, right? This takes two iron to actually complete, as well as 20. Let's just drop both of these and just leave this for now. That should help me with cash a little bit. Steel is still doing really good. Food, we're going to be able to buy ourselves back into it with steel again. So we're kind of just min-maxing everything right now with food. I'm, I'm really playing the food game safe. He wants to sell iron for a lot. He doesn't want to buy it, though. What if I want to sell 30 of it? Or 40, yeah, sure. For 40, okay. And then we'll buy 20 food for 60. So I'm about to get more steel. Okay, you break off this way once i at least find one food resource i can still i can start bouncing back and getting my population and everything increased there we go there's some food that's what i'm talking about so we finally got some food resources the first ones uh that we found all right we're completely out of food kind of an issue but there we go we've got that source of four food there so that is definitely going to help uh now if i buy more food it's going to definitely um it's going to take a long time to decrease. So let's actually buy 20 food for 60. This is extremely expensive, but I absolutely need to do it. We will sell 50 of our iron for 50. That is fine. And then we will go back into here one last time and buy 30 oil for 90. Very expensive, but that'll help us out right there. Maybe we can get this ship out. Maybe not. 4.3 turns. So it looks like we are going to get that ship out so long as I still keep going around playing the scouting for resource game somewhat early there's a fort there i don't really need the fort but i could march up that way and see what's going on i'm gonna send this guy basically off that way how are we looking for this transport 4.6 turns it's starting to go back up as oil drops um i'm actually gonna hide research warnings in this game um, I'm just going to have to try to really make sure I remember to keep track of that, but I don't want this to come up because I just simply do not want to spend any money right now on research. Because uh, I want to keep all my money to buy resources, keep my armies marching. Some more steel. I'll take it. Steel is cash in the long run, so it's not an issue. 
5.8 turns is starting to draw, increase back up because of our oil. So let's buy 25. And this is the kind of game it is. It is a difficult game. And I don't mind that because I do like playing uh, games that are somewhat uh, complicated and require great thinking like this. So for me to actually be able to kind of min-max these and keep these going is necessarily... Uh, kind of an adrenaline rush for me to fin uh, to see if I can survive. So I, I do like anything like this for the most part. But I do think that it could be uh, set up a little bit better. Kind of zoom out here. Oh, we got more steel. Which we sw sw uh, swept in there and captured. Let's head down that way. We've got him going off there. And since I've got oil, how is the production looking? 2.5 turns. I really want to get that because if I can swing up and grab this oil, then my production in all my cities will be back up on track. And then I can swing over here and grab this food. And then uh, we will be in the positives for food, which is a pretty big deal. Hopefully, none of these races try to go to war with me or anything like that because I simply cannot afford a war right now. Uh, at all. So our transport is completed in 0 0.6 turns. We're going to have this city produce wealth after that. And we're grabbing 10 gold down here, which is going to make an uh, um, insanely big difference with resources. I'm going to walk up here and see if there's anything else. If not, then uh, so be it. Uh, and have this guy kind of walk off this way. Alright, so here we go. We've got our transport. Let's swoop right up and grab uh, this oil because this transport is going to start eating oil, so I need to capture that as fast as possible. Then we're going to come right over here and grab this oil, then grab this food. So just do a big, fat circle around there. Now we're about to run out of food, so let's drop into here real quick. Got plenty of money now. Uh, we'll buy 40. Nope, let's buy 20 food. Uh, for 60 and then let's do I don't think I clicked on that correctly Let's do 20 food for 60 trade and then we can sell uh, We've got tons of steel. There's simply rolling in steel right now. We'll sell that for 60 uh, I want to do a little bit more trading in the future, but I don't think it's gonna happen and let's boost our oil Just enough to get us to that oil reserve there. Maybe actually let's hold off on the oil food is definitely the bigger issue so we'll just let the oil be its thing because I think I'll capture this and that'll put me close enough in the positives that I'm... No, nope, it looks like I have to buy a little bit more actually now that I'm now that I'm looking at it. Okay, 20 then for 60 and then let's do 20 more food to get us out of this negative here, get us out of that negative modifier for another 60. We're making 34, so cash is going to be what saves us and that actually might be what puts me ahead of the other players because uh, I doubt the other players are... Uh, doing any better right now with the food situation. So he didn't discover anything and the border is right there. So why don't we throw him up uh, inside this fort here for now? I think that'll do and we'll keep him scouting out off this way. I think we can almost start. It looks like we'll be able to start researching again. So let's do that. Let's get some stuff queued up. I don't want to fall behind too far on the research game. Uh, we're almost done with the tank. So we'll get that finished uh, and then we'll move into the... Hmm, uh, biplanes maybe? Mm, let me just get the tank. Well, that's two turns. Production bonus plus 20% population, but that's going to... In fact, it means that it pays for itself, for example. So, I don't know if that's going to produce... If that, if I... Let's get the factory. I, I'm worried that that might produce... Or that might increase my food, because if it raises my production, then does it raise my population? And if it does, then... That's going to cost me more food, which I obviously can't afford. We've got more gold there, so more cash. We're doing good on our resources now. They're still in the negatives here and here, uh, but steel is just doing absolutely fantastic. Why don't we get some more of that sold? Uh, let's just sell 100 right off the bat. Get $100. Let's just boost our food to start getting some negative, or positive, I mean, some positive stuff, as well as we'll just boost our oil up for 150 do that trade and there we go so now we're back on track and everything is good uh, you guys just watched me pretty much pull off a miracle uh, that is generally I I've lost all three games to my resources all plummeting so I think I finally figured out the game a little bit you definitely have to kind of play your resources around and be very careful as to not to um, as to not to really spread yourself thin early in the game, I think I'm going to be a lot better off than the other players, that's for sure. We've just grabbed our second oil resource. We're now producing positive oil, which is good, because if I get this produced high enough, then I can kind of start trading with the other races a little bit more, uh, the other players in the game, and, and uh, mess with them a little bit. And they're going to be pretty dependent on me. I'm also producing positive food, so the city should start increasing 
uh, in population, but hopefully that doesn't negate the food. I'm going to send the, the transport down to here, see if there's any more food resources, and if there's not, then we'll take him all the way back around here and explore in this big area that's up here, as well as grabbing our soldier here, who is now uh, rank 2, actually, which is really good. Uh, he's a veteran, so plus 20 attack. And we're going to send him off over this way. Let's see what we can't run into. But we are out of time for this episode. We're back on track. All of our resources are up in the positives. Cash flow is just insane right now. And I might dedicate a little bit of that towards research next time since we do have a very large access flow, uh, excess flow. And then I'm thinking what we'll do is maybe start doing some... Uh, trading with the other players as well and see if we can't get maybe an alliance going with one of them so we could team up against the other one. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you next time.